Hello everybody, John Gregory here with another theme park room tour and review. This time, I'm right across from Carowinds, just on the North Carolina, South Carolina border, in the hotel that is the absolute closest you can get to the park entrance. This is the Spring Hill Suites by Carowinds. I stayed here for two nights in March 2024, paid $177 per night through Hotels.com and we take you around the room, give you my thoughts and just a little bit about the hotel itself in case you want to stay here. So, uh, you know, this is a basic Spring Hill Suites room, a little bit, uh, you know, maybe a little bit smaller because it's not the real suite feel that you might expect from that name. It's kind of a studio suite if they... You know, if we're taking the, the hotel's lingo along with it. But enough space for a family to spread out just a little bit more than a room that just has basically beds, the TV, and that's it. So let me take you around. So first off, you have your coffee, ice bucket, sort of barish area. And this is where your, uh, your fridge and your microwave are. Kind of hidden away there. Um, this little living space has... A desk with these dividers that roll through for some bit of privacy between this space, the bed space back there, and uh, the couch area, which does not fold out, but instead has a trundle bed down here. Um, and you can see it's a pretty wide couch, so having one, you know, teenager, kid, young adult um, sleeping over here while maybe the smaller child sleeps on the trundle bed. If you want to try to fit a family of four in here, that, that might work out pretty well. And then you have your little um, kind of pseudo, <laughs> pseudo table here, rolls around pretty easily. And then of course you could also have someone eating over at the desk if you're not using this for work. Um, it does come with some USB plugs, both in the lamp here and in the wall. Uh, the TV serves the whole room, so it will rotate out like so. Um, you know, kind of not the best angle for either party, and certainly they can't watch it. If you have it flush against the wall, it's not going to be great for either of them, but it is what it is. A uh, little storage underneath the TV. And then, um, you know, let's check out these bathrooms, because they did something a little novel here. They did actually separate out the... Um, the toilet and the shower, which is not the novel part. What, it, what I think is novel is that they included a small sink in the separate toilet section. Hello, very small mirror too, um, which is nice because that does allow, if someone really doesn't need the full vanity, you know, just needs a space to brush their teeth. Um, basically, you know, if they're like me, they don't have any anything big to, you no, know, it doesn't take a lot to get this all together. Um, they can just do that in here while someone else takes over the bigger vanity, which is pretty nice. Um, so here's the king size bed out here. Decently comfortable, nothing to write home about either. Um, I think the, the comforter is a little better than most hotels at this level. Maybe they're finally getting, getting the memo that a little, basically a sheet isn't gonna be enough when you're on vacation and you're used to something more, uh, a little more substantial at home. Pillows are, are whatever, they're hotel pillows. Um, you do get USB ports on both sides. You get reading lights, too, on both sides, individually controlled. Um, the USB ports over here are in the clock radio. Um, but still, both sides, very nice. You get some storage over on the side, too. Let's go over to the main bathroom area. Uh, here's the big vanity, the one that, you know, if... Someone needs a little more time to get put together, not all this. <laughs> um, then this is where they go. And then uh, the shower. Pretty basic stuff. Um, no, pretty, I, I was actually a little disappointed in the water pressure on this one. Um, it's nothing terrible, but it should be better, I think. Um, they do uh, the body wash, soap, conditioner separately here something I talk about in most of my videos because it does seem to be a sticking point among many hotel guests. I'm, I'm totally fine with it. I'm not taking these home 
uh, anyway, so, uh, anyway, decent enough shower, nothing to write home about, it'll get the job done, and isn't any big problem. I think the only thing I don't like in this, um, in this space is this, this kind of mirror setup, I, I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but there's a little depth here, so like, this comes out, and then there's another mirror around it, it's just a little off-putting <laughs> to... Uh, I don't know why I really need this extra space around the edge, but, you know, whatever. That's the way they designed it. Um, and that is pretty much it. Um, oh, and I did actually, you know what? I missed the most important part, the closet. This is the closet space. It has your basics. It's storing my luggage at the moment. Um, yeah, your iron, your ironing board, luggage rack, the extra sheets, um, that you'll need for that trundle bed that does not come, the one underneath there does not come with any sheets included. Um, that's pretty much it. So, you know, the room, all good. No complaints about that is, is exactly what you expect at this price level. And then the big benefit in this hotel is proximity. You are a 10 minute walk from the front entrance of Carowinds. You actually don't have to park in their lot, the parking lot for the theme park at all. You park here at the hotel, you just walk on over, you get a separate side, kind of side road that gives you an entrance here. And this is something that just does, is not offered at really any Cedar Fair resort other than, uh, than Cedar Point, which has you know, the stuff on the peninsula. This is such a big benefit here. Um, that's really the, the, really the reason you're staying at this place is because you want to be walking distance to Carowinds. Now that is a one day park. So you have to question as I you know, did on my Universal Studios Hollywood reviews, because they have on-site hotels too, is do you really need to stay on site when it's a one day resort? And it still has an advantages to taking a, taking a break in the middle of the day when it gets most busy, easy access in and out. If you want to do, you know, a quick morning before you have your flight, like I'm doing today, that has its benefits. Um, and the price point is a little bit higher because of that, just so you know. Um, but if you, if walking distance to Carowinds is what you're after, this is the hotel that's going to deliver it for you. And everything else is going to be reasonably comfortable. Um, I guess my only other advice is don't expect this to be a big resort. It is a Spring Hill Suites. It's got... A bar that's kind of open. <laughs> it's got a small pool area. It's a continental breakfast that you're better off just doing the cold cereal than anything hot. The eggs were ugh. Um, <laughs> the eggs and bacon this morning terrible, honestly. <laughs> but but cold cereal, okay, I'll take that free meal. But if you can set your expectations at a decent level and it's really just like wow i have my own like 10 minute walking path right up to carowinds then great you'll be you know from your hotel room door to you know on fury 305 in 15 minutes that's maybe a big enough benefit for you at this price point anyway uh thanks for following along on this and like comment subscribe all those youtuber things uh and look at all my other hotel reviews. I've got ones from Disneyland, Disney World, just Orlando in general, and then places like this, Cedar Fair Parks like Cedar Point, Kings Island, um, Knott's Berry Farm. I get around. So thanks for watching, and uh, you know, have fun theme parking out there.